galaxy continues to turn, and those trying to make a profit or accrue power move every day to accrue and find such things. All in the midst of it, an economy booms, and those who need to use it get blown up. Welcome back to X4, everybody. I'm very excited to bring you this episode. I wasn't sure I was going to. There was a bit of a problem loading the save, but I rebooted my computer, and that seems to have fixed it. And we have a job to do. We have a quest, in fact. Uh, we got a job from this station here, and there's an inspector calling. We, uh, they want us to go inspect the ARG Claytronics factory. We'll make 30,000 credits, we'll make a little bit of uh, leeway with the Antigon Republic, and of course, um, it's very easy. So it's easy to do. So that's what we're gonna go do. That's the job we're gonna take right now, working as the freelance solo pilot that we are, though we do have one crew member. Little does she know she's a part of something so much bigger. The insane amount of money we're gonna make, don't you know? The empire that we're gonna build together, you and I, woman in the back of my ship. But for now, I want to get out of here for a moment. There we go. All right, let's uh, bop up our speed. Ooh, let's just get out of here. There we are. All right. Well, <laughs> it's far from the bounty hunting that we were looking to do. And we certainly are no rich folk any longer. Uh, and we're far, far, far cry from setting up any sort of uh, economic or military empire. Um, we've got quite a long ways to go before that. Uh, we can be seen as such until then. We're errand boys, and while Mathis Gameson is not exactly thrilled with the idea of being an errand boy for everybody here, it's going to be useful because we're going to be flying out now, and we can zoom out and check out the map, out in unknown areas of space. We now know there's a, there's a factory out here, and the more we know about what kind of factories are happening, the better, uh, because it can tell us quite a lot about what's, uh, what we can make money off of out here. For instance, we know we have a refinery here, uh, for both ore and silicon. So I imagine there's got to be some sort of silicon or asteroid belt out here. And if we see it, maybe I'll drop a resource probe and we'll grab because the first goal towards becoming... Uh, oh, we're not on autopilot anymore. Auto sorry. Pilot. The first goal to becoming powerful and a powerful faction does not even necessarily an empire, but making a name for ourselves in this huge galaxy where everything is just happening one way or another is to start making money. And we could go out and start hitting trade routes, but, you know, that's a bit illegal and get us into a lot of trouble, especially in a ship like this. No, I think our best first investment is to maybe throw whatever little money we're able to acquire. Uh, obviously, we want to work on this quest as well, but whatever little money we can acquire and buy ourselves a mining ship. On top of that, we could throw a miner, hire a pilot to be our miner and have a passive income coming into us at all times. You know, one employee on the grand scheme of things is not much, but if we want to be the best, oh, I don't know, space weed salesman out there, we're going to need to know how to be entrepreneurs. We're going to need to know how to handle a large quantity of workers and keep them all paid and happy. And we might as well start with legal things. Not going to go to the illegal quite yet. You got to make a little money to get there first, but we're going to get there. Oh, we're going to get there, I promise. Anyway, we're less than 100 kilometers away from this inspection that we have to do. So we're going to be basically throwing on our short-range scanner, as far as I understand, and flying around the outskirts of this thing, hoping for the best. Whoop, looks like we're here. Autopilot disengaged. Uh, why is our travel speed on? All right, here we are. So we're, we're here, I wonder, I think we can land in these. Like, I think all stations you can kind of land on. Docking granted. Yeah, we can. Docking aborted. Maybe we'll, we'll take a landing on this thing here in a minute and see what this thing has. But for now, we're here to inspect you. Mission completed. Inspector calling. Well, that was it, everybody. That was it. That's all we needed to do. That, that was our Docking granted. 20,000 credits or 30,000 credit job. They literally, that's how worthless the credit is in this place, I'm just saying, you know? Like, 30,000 credits to set just so you don't have to, to fly out there and turn on your scanners yourself. It's like bare minimum. So now we'll pop in here. Boom. Look at that, I just need to fly at it and it happens. So, I'm actually curious what's in this thing. Welcome. Thank you very much for welcoming me here. We might hire a few people. 
Den, uh... Even your salute's a little suspect. However, all female crew here, Jasmine, Hello. Jerrigan, you know what? Welcome to the crew. You will be our services crew for now. You're just going to get up there. You won't regret this. I know I won't. I know I won't. So apparently you can actually hire NPCs to be the pilot and you can just stand there and let them pilot you around. Obviously, depending on their piloting skill, the better or worse they'll be. Uh, for her, uh, says I own her. Uh, that's not true. We're not a slavering uh, practice. Our empire is not going to be slavers. But her piloting skill is like a quarter of a star. Not great. So what can I do with this? Just redesign all the usual. I'm actually curious what's here for me to buy, if anything. Trader's Corner. How's it going? Hello there. Hey. Can I help? I can't hire you, unfortunately, but... Here you go. Here you go. First aid kit, 11,000. I think... Okay, bear with me. Basic seminar, piloting. That's not that much money. Do I, I don't know like how useful these are. Management, available in the many topics. I'll take them, they're cheap. Good luck out there. I'm curious though, excuse me. The crafting station here. Ooh, ooh, this is fancy. Yeah, there's nobody here. Why does nobody work on these stations? Man, they're really cutting corners everywhere. It truly is a capitalist fantasy. Anybody who's not essential just isn't hired. Hello there. How's Hello. it going? Where can I find... A way to a location. I think I need to go to a shipyard. Sending you information now. So, it's good to have come to him anyway. We're gonna head to the Argon Shipyard. I want to see how much a mining ship runs us. Because if I'm gonna bring on... I could just give it to... I mean, I have two crew, so I could assign one of them to it. Um, I'm very, very curious... How much it's gonna run us to get us a mining ship. You know what? Let's, this is the time for experimentation. Dean, if you're listening, and you better be... <clears throat> yeah. What do I pay you for? Uh, I am editing, sir. Obviously, if things get, like, I'm going to be fiddling here, so edit things out that are not necessary. But the plan right now, I was going to see if I can get somebody to fly the ship. Okay, it's under ship information. Uh, and then if we go to crew at the very top, and then we'll say her, Jasmine. We can right-click on her, promote to pilot. So now... If I get up, she uh, she should show up. Hello. Sh Hi. Fly to the shipyard, lady. How do I command you to do that? Let's see. So the Argon shipyard is back is way, whoa, whoa, whoa. The shipyard is way out here. Really? What about a wharf? We have a nav beacon here. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just make the trip. Let's see if she can do it. So Stop guidance, buy ship, logical overview. I gotta tell her to go. Girl, go. And go. And go. Start, oh, I gotta right click on the ship. Start guidance to object. Nope. Okay. Buy ships. Here, take a piloting seminar. 
And I'm just gonna jump in the chair because I don't know how to make you go. So we're gonna undock. I'm gonna hit autopilot. Engaged. And then I am gonna get up. So are you gonna make us go? That's cool looking. But she ain't going. Proceed with current orders. Are we moving? Hey, are you going? No, get up. Okay. Autopilot's a mess. Autopilot it got itself back on the highway there, but we're almost there. I was looking up in the meanwhile how to get the pilot to, to like take you places, and it looks like it's kind of a pain in the butt. Like you can do it, but you you have to kind of give it very specific commands. I might actually have to give the ship a captain as well. It, since I'm the captain, and I might not be able to do it. And that might be something that's actually happening as well. Oh, well. Disengage. What is that? An asteroid? Asteroid. Empty. Asteroid. Empty. Asteroid. Against a long range scan there. Asteroid. 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 Looks pretty empty. Alright, we'll head back out. There's a lot of question marks out there. A lot of unknown stations and objects. Autopilot. Back Engage. toward the ship, though. And here we go. We'll see what ships they have. As I've said before, the whole world kind of operates on this very deep simulation. And parts aren't just spawned in. If a, a station needs parts to build a certain ship, and they do not have those parts, uh, they have to get them from somewhere, and that can cause wars. The game won't just pop them in. Autopilot, disembark in shipyard. You are near a shipyard? Consider deploying a satellite here. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't know why. We're gonna birth a satellite. Docking granted. And let's get some docking in here. So since this is a shipyard, I'm imagining we will have a lot of options for things to buy. Getting some scanning in. There we are. Boom. Well, let's take a look. Yep, we can buy ships here. Welcome. Oh, we can only buy large? Extra large and large. These things are huge. And probably 12 million credits. Oh my good lord. Miner. A million credits for a large miner? Look at this thing though. How cool is that looking? A miner. All these miners are expensive. A freighter if we want to do some trading. Four mil for that thing, though. These are... I need a medium. I don't need large. Hello there. Hello. You, you go ahead and take the ship for a minute. I'll be right back, ma'am. Just don't leave me here. Hello. Hey, you actually decent engineer? Well, all right. Hello. Well, you're hired. Thank you for taking me on. You're welcome. Thank you for taking me on. You're welcome. Wait, I want to talk to you one Can more I time. Help? Uh, let's see. Five. I could fire you. No, we're Goodbye. not going to fire you. Egosoft would like to thank you for buying their product. 
You watching me, Ego Soft? Are you watching me? Wow, that's such a fucking cool view, dude. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to have our own station that we can build and walk around. Hello. Sending you information now. All right, we're going to try to hit the wharf. I think the, the shipyards and the wharfs are the only places you can actually buy anything. So we're going to see if that works. I filled up my crew, so we have maximum crew now. Uh, you know what? That's not me. That's my satellite picking that up, I think. Luckily, the wharf is super close, so we don't have to make a too big of a journey. Our satellite will stay here. It'll keep us informed of comms. And we can always check in on it. Sent and received by both ship stations. Open frequencies a certain range. They're not one-use objects. Yeah, we can always pick it back up. All right, we're at the wharf. Granted. Let's see if they have what we need. The quest to start in a business is rather difficult. Successfully docked. Okay. They have small, so wharf is where we want to go. Ooh, requires Federation military license. Sunder, Sunder gas vanguard, mineral vet miner. I think we'll want a mineral miner. Ooh, we can afford it. Barely, but we can. Okay. So we have the drill mineral miner vanguard. Radar range is 40. It's hull. Solid storage is 9,000. 9, 10 crew. Missiles, deployables, countermeasures. And then the gas miner. It's one or the other. So we're just going to have to take it. If we went with a low preset, uh, docking computer mark one, flight assist, long range scanner, police scanner. And a sharpening list, 200, even with that, oh, we need to, we need to get rid of some shit. What do they need here? Advanced electronics. They're buying energy cells at a high price here. Low demand. I gotta understand how this is looking, because, like, I understand the wares. Price. Ship. Sell. Buy. I see no sell offer, but their buy offer. And that, for some reason, is high. What if we wanted to upgrade our ship? So, this is actually just the chassis. Thank God I didn't buy it. Holy shit. It has nothing on it. It's just selling me the basics. It has no engines, nothing. So, if I wanted to individually sit, fit it out, the lowest preset with, what, Mining Mark 1 lasers on both sides? Medium turrets, Mining Mark 1s? A Mark 1, you know, Mark 1 everything? I still don't have the money. So right now, I, my, uh, as Mathis Gameson sits here, having traveled to the wharf all this while, his head in his hands. You know, he came from a, a, ra a rather luxurious background. His family gave him a small ship and 10,000 credits to get started. And now he's like, I've got an idea. Well, 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 I could just hire somebody to make me some passive money, mine some minerals while I scout for the more interesting things, the drugs, the more, the higher end money. And now he's got, like, his head in his hands. He's sighing heavily and s realizing it's going to be so much more work than he anticipated. So, we need to have probably, like, 300 grand on us in cash to make this work. Now, I'm going to head out of here. The wharf is nice, but we're going to head back to Black Hole Sun. I'm going to explore Black Hole Sun, I think. I really want to see if we can find... Uh, 
useful things here. Like, look, we, we still haven't even gone to the highways that lead out to Black Hole Sun area. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start guidance to object. And we're going to undock. We're going to autopilot our asses back there. And we're going to do the beginner thing of exploration. We'll do some, maybe some minor bounty hunting if we need to. But we have a goal now. We actually have a price and we know where to get the mining ship uh, if, if, ever, if ever it all goes that way. I was reading some stories about how they've, there's been some games people have started. Uh, that they've, they've the, I guess like the, the major stations are all static, but where refineries end up and where factories end up are all RNG. And that they have reading. Entering system. Am I going Second the wrong way? Contact. No, I'm going the right way. Um, the hearing the, the starts where like some of the other factions that are more aggressive started with like incredible amounts of money and like really great resources and have just, just dominated the map. I'm hoping that doesn't happen in our first playthrough. Uh, can I ask why we are not swapping highway? Autopilot engaged. Oh, we just swapped over. I autopiloted and he flicked right over. So we're in true sight territory. Nothing's aggressive here. I imagine blue is like one one faction entering system second contact Duke's Buccaneers I don't know how to tell at a, at a, at a quick like look Xenon and Zyarth are the ones that hate us I don't know how to tell at a quick look like who hates us and who doesn't um what is happening? Gorgon. Sentinel. Gorgon. There's a huge battle Odysseus. happening. Sentinel. Holy Order of the Pontifex. Odysseus. Sentinel. Holy Order Atlas. of the Pontifex. Sentinel. And they're attacking Behemoth Vanguard. The Argon Federation. Behemoth Sentinel. So are we're in Argon territory? There's a huge fight happening here. And I think we're in Argon, like Argon territory. I think the, the maybe the Holy Order is winning. Odysseus, Sentinel. Look at these ships, they're huge, dude. That's really not scary. Odysseus, Sentinel. We might poach. Depending how this fight goes, we might have some ships that are sitting out here that we can take for ourselves if they're intact or at the very least strip some things. You've had it now. This is wild looking though. One day we'll have a fleet like this, moving in and taking things for ourselves. For now, getting involved in this is suicide. I can only watch. Whoa. Vanguard. The shield is dropping, but its hull's fine. I'd love to get involved and like help fight them off. But I don't even know how I would even begin. Gorgon. Sentinel. Would you like some more? I want to get some scans Odysseus. in here. Sentinel. I know, you're under attack and I can't do anything about it. These are wild looking ships. We gotta get out of here. This is not for us. This is not a fight for us. You know, seeing those huge fights and feeling like a minnow in an ocean, that like makes me love these games. Truly. Sentinel. What's happening here? Mama, Vanguard. Construction vessels. Shuyako, Vanguard. Shuyako. It really is though. Like I love Auto like pilot. feeling like a, a baby, you know, like I, I, there's nothing I can do. This whole galaxy is just going without me. 
and I want to get involved so bad, and I know there will be a point where I am, you know, I'm heavily, heavily involved, and, uh, I can't wait. I really do want to become basically like a, I kind of want to create a space station, like Mathis Gameson I see as somebody who is all about, you know, making his own name despite, despite everything else, and so I wanted, I really want to spell space sweet. I really want to sell space sweet. That's the goal. Entering system, Black Hole Sun. Autopilot. Okay, we're engaged. back at Black Hole Sun. Oh, that ship is huge. Incarcatua, Sentinel. All right, let's actually go. Two of these highways and let's explore a little bit of Black Hole Sun. If they're going to do anything in this particular episode, I would like to at the very least have explored. I, we got to see some cool things, we got to travel and honestly I could do all that all the time. But I'd like to make some progress and now that we have like a goal in mind, if we can find a wharf nearby, I'd prefer it. Autopilot. We also have Disengaged. this here, this asteroid belt. Thunder, gas, Vanguard. Ah, we have gas miners out here. Asteroid. Asteroid. I want to actually swing into this gas here. There's a gas miner Thunder, doing this thing. Gas, Vanguard. Kind of want to take a look at it up close. Ooh, what's asteroid. That? Asteroid. We Mercury. got more gas miners. Sentinel. Trader. Thunder. Gas. Vanguard. I imagine it's doing its own thing. So let's in in this area. Let's drop a civilian resource probe. Let's see if I learn anything. Invidium ore, silicon, and ore are in here. There goes the gas miner. I don't know if that's a good amount of ore or silicon, because well, we got one more resource probe out there somewhere. Now we got a resource probe over here. There's actually less ore over here and less silicon, so... Maybe this is actually like a really good pocket. We've got more ore and silicon here. Yeah, we might want to try and mine here. If we can mine in Black Hole Sun, I'm happy. Engaged. I'm glad we dropped a resource probe. Asteroid. 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 Also, you know what? I was also told we should look around and we'll do a little bit of looking around. Let's cut engines and then put them back up to normal. I was, ah, oh, right there, right there, yeah, do you see these? Oh, that's not it. That's not it at all. Asteroid. No weapons assigned to the active group? Oh. We gotta turn our weapons on. Uh, I wanna look for crystals. Apparently crystals are a really good source of money. They touch them on them a little bit in the tutorial. And we can, uh, they, they're on asteroids, and if you can blast them, they're good source of quick money. And good money, apparently, too. You need to see them high hanging off, or they'll glint. So while we're in this asteroid field, let's see. Asteroid. Silicon. Asteroid. Or. Asteroid. Oh, there it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There, there, there. Back up a bit. And we just got a bunch of crystals. We'll sell that off. And we'll keep looking for some more. We'll do some crystal mining here. I love seeing just like all the AI Sentinel. wandering around. Autopilot. Engage. 
engaged. All right, well, whoop, whoop, whoop. we got one more crystal up here. Disengaged. I just saw it flicker. Yep, yep, there it is. After we've got these, asteroid. We'll uh, whoop. we'll head out. I don't know. I'm assuming there's different kinds of crystals. I imagine they wouldn't do different colors for no reason. Illegal items can be sold to black market traders. Okay, well, it's illegal. This particular crystal, at the very least, is illegal. Take missions to find black market traders. Right? Dropped container collected. Autopilot engaged. Now I need to figure out how to sell all things in the black market, but that's good because we want to get involved in the black market early. That's where I want to run my ring. That's where I want to make my money. But it's good to know. We go into our inventory. It's unstable crystals. Bandai crystals. Uh, Menelene crystals. These are legal, I'm assuming. Total price, 120,000 credits. They're worth 10,000 credits each. I mean, that alone will pay for our first mining ship, really. Banadi uh, Bandonite crystals. I really wish I could, like, look at markets, market prices for these. Drop all illegal items. Okay. Argon Equipment Dock. Some food traders. Super Highway, unknown sector. Let's see what our beginning area actually has for us. Whoa! Entering Black Hole Sun 5. Aaron Sentinel. All right. So it brought us to from Black Hole Sun 1 to Black Hole Sun 5. We got a couple squadrons out here, a couple squadron fighters. We're kind of just hurtling through space. I'm kind of hoping we'll see something. I imagine there's a station out here. I mean, there Unknown station. is this. Autopilot. And that's a station, so let's see. But it's good to know we've got a super highway that leads to the center. These sections are huge, man. I did not realize how big each one of these was. Because, I mean, when you go into here... You know, we went through this area so fast, but we saw so little. We just saw some factories nearby and some stations near the highway because it's easy of access and it's easier to keep it safe that way. Argon defense platform. We probably don't want to be near there. Disengaged. Cerberus Vanguard. So we want to keep swinging out into the the depths of space. Looks like we got mineral. some miner here of the Zyrith Patriarchy, long away from home. Autopilot disengaged. So we're going to go ahead and lock up here and try and stop him. Whoop! Oh, they got way bigger turrets. Time to run. Let's see if we can drag them this way. They might just leave. We could do very little to them, unfortunately. I saw them and I, I figured minor. Yikes. I figured we'd be fine. We're not. I don't think they're going to turn around. Let's just keep, keep exploring. Autopilot 
They'll be out of our sensor range here. You can actually see where our active sensor range on this ship is, and it's not very big. And something else we would like to eventually kind of get better. But once they pop out, yep, they're going to disappear. Right now, I'm kind of patrolling up the the sides here of the super highways, uh, because that's where a lot of factories tend to be. However, I'm going to keep going this way as well. Because I feel like there's going to be other super highways on this area here, but I'm trying to explore. No, no wharfs out this way. Very nice. I now I'm being yelled at by Tel Marauders to drop all my stuff. I'm going to ignore you and keep moving. There's a lot of them. They're raiding all up here. I'm not quite sure what these are all going to do. There's mineral miners all over here, too. So they're probably just hitting up the mineral miners and just trying to make, you know, easy, easy minerals to sell off for easy money. We're just going to keep moving, though. We got a medical supply factory up here. This is good to know. <laughs> I had a feeling because I saw a medical supply ship kind of appear out of here out of nowhere. It's weird that it's up here, though. So it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if it's hidden or just randomly spawned out there. Or I wonder if there's a highway just up here. Disengage. Well, we're being attacked. Hi. Queen's guard. Okay. Move. We're going to try and do some damage here. I can't tell if we're actually doing anything. We are keeping up with the Kardashians, as well as their shield. Okay. We want to try and keep them under a kilometer and behind them if we can. We're seemingly okay. His uh, hull is down to 60%. We're going to be under 50 here. We'll hold. 40. We might take this fight. We'll boost. We're only going to boost and keep on like rolling and strafing. This gun is so bad, but Mathis Gameston has fucking something to prove that he's worth, okay, okay, that he's worth fighting with and hiring, that he's good for his money. Oh, baby. Container. Basic weapon chamber. Give me it. Oh. Okay. Can I do anything with this ship or is it destroyed? That was a fight, dude. This thing is busted. I do wonder if we can fly these things. Yeah, that thing is definitely destroyed. Anything uh, long range scanners? Nothing on long range. Unknown zone. Well, we were kind of flying and exploring when we got hit by them. I definitely need to repair now. Though we're probably need to get out of here to repair. So I think we need to head back to the equipment dock. Autopilot engaged. And our little space adventure. 
though it was kind of just exploration. Honestly, I feel like I learned a lot. <laughs> I have a goal now, which is nice. I have an idea as to what I want to do. Uh, we still haven't explored a bunch. I'd like to explore more, but we know where there's some silicon and ore that we can mine. We just got to get that money, and it seems like it's going to be out in the Argon Wharf. Though there's got to be a black hole sun one, you know? These are all Argon as well. I hope that blinking doesn't mean it's not like under attack. Or just like where we're, where we're aiming. But man, I'm just ready to disappear into this game. It's just late. I know I got to end the episode. So Mathis Gameson, you took on a fight. You won with your dinky little gun. Be proud of yourself. Hold on. Autopilot disengaged. Free loot, maybe. Container. A flux capacitor that's worth 129,000 credits. Can somebody please tell me? Why that's something I do not have? Autopilot engaged. That had to have come from a miner. One of the one of the miners that were out here. We did see the uh, patriarchy miners out here. Give me it. Autopilot disengaged. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. Medical supply factory. Docking ground. I'm curious, do they have any do I have anything that I that the medical supply factory wants? I don't think I can repair my ship at the medical supply factory. And I can't imagine there's much here that, that I have that they want. Successfully docked. Welcome. Like I could buy medical supplies, but yeah, they they want energy cells, spices, water, and wheat. Your typical everyday life stuff, so. Still, though, hey. Ah, maybe because we, we have a satellite there, though, we can see their trade offers for everything. For the equipment dock and everything. Okay. Uh oh, cops. Engaged. Yo, it's the fuzz. It's the fuzz. Don't act suspicious. Autopilot Don't. Disengaged. Don't act suspicious. Don't act suspicious. Engaged. Get out of here. We don't have any unstable crystals, you nerds. No illegal cargo. Anyway. Identifying criminal vessels. Not me. I'm outie. See you later. Please don't scan me. Anyway, we're going to make our way back to the Argon sector, back in Black Hole Sun 4. And uh, from there, we're going to repair up, buy some stuff, and then next episode, next episode, we're going to get ourselves a miner. Am I playing uh, suboptimally? Sure, but it's fun as hell. <laughs>